This isn't about the catwalk, it's about the sidewalk. What are real women over 40, over 60, over 80 going to actually be wearing in 2024? Stay tuned. Hey, this is Netta. Closets are kind of my thing. They're kind of my thing. I have done thousands of closets in my years as a personal stylist, and I'm so excited about my upcoming Closet Confidence workshop series. So when I asked you guys what your biggest struggle was around style, closets came up more than anything else. And I get it. Style starts in our closet, right? Style starts in our closet. And if we don't get a handle on our closet, we're never going to look and feel our best every single day. So because of that, the Closet Confidence Workshop Series is coming your way. I'm so excited. It's going to be a totally different format. We're really going to be able to dive into kind of what makes a closet work, what doesn't make it work, and get some transformations inside of a week in the Closet Confidence Workshop Series. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, please comment below with Closet and I will get you all the information. If you've got another style struggle, share your word, one word that describes your style struggle in the comments below, and maybe we'll save it for a future challenge. Love you guys. Bye. There are trends and then there's street style. And today I'm going to talk about what women are really actually wearing in 2024. What are stylish women over 40, over 60, over 80 actually wearing on the streets in 2024? I'm pretty sure it's not the underwear that's posing as shorts or the sheer skirts. Like what are we actually going to be reaching for this year to look and feel modern, fresh, and stylish? So my name is Netta. I am a fashion editor and fashion columnist turned personal stylist. I'm also the founder of the Age of Style program where I have helped thousands of women reinvent their style and reclaim their confidence over 50 so that they look and feel their best every single day and they can do all the things that they're called to do in life, right? Like that's why we get dressed so we can get out and 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 do our day and do it well and do it with grace and do it with beauty and, and all the things. So what are we going to wear on those days? What are we going to wear on those days in 2024? What are people actually already wearing? Like what trendy things or what modern things or what fresh things are actually showing up on the streets in cities, in small towns, in villages, wherever you're at, what are we actually, what are going to be the go-tos for us in 2024? That's what I'm talking about in today's video. Now, before I say that disclaimer, sort of, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear whatever you want. And we're seeing everything. We're seeing everything. So, you know, to start with, wear whatever you want in 2024. Wear whatever you want in 2024. However, if you want my opinion, and if you ask my opinion, I'm going to give it to you. So I don't feel like it's helpful, and I have been on many rants about this, so I'll try not to have another one. Uh, when someone asks you for your feedback and you don't give it to them. When someone asks you for guidance or input or insight into an outfit and you don't give it to them and you say, wear what you want. That's not helpful. To me, that's toxic. It's, it's as if someone is asking asking you for your advice about something that you know means a lot to them and you're like do whatever you want to do not helpful not helpful if they asked your advice chances are they wanted to hear it so if you're here i'm hoping that you want to hear my take at least on trends and and what women are actually going to be wearing in 2024 things that are wearable things that we're going to see in real life right okay so let's get into it the first trend that i think we're really going to see and the first thing that we're going to see and it's not really a trend this is something that's been around the last couple of years and truly this is what i think we should all be doing over 40 60 80 is wearing jeans jeans with a little movement in them. Jeans with a little movement in them. Skinny jeans, which fortunately are not back, are truly not flattering on most women, are truly not flattering on most women. And if you have more, uh, you know, a strong upper body, or if you have a belly area, um, or even um, a, a lot of shape in your hips, you're going to find that skinny jeans really amplify and create a sense of like lack of proportion and a sense of imbalance in your outfits, you want a jean with a little bit of movement. It is not only so much more comfortable, so much more flattering, so much more stylish. And so jeans that are a little bit baggy, a little bit slouchy, or a little bit more wide leg. Now don't get turned off by baggy or slouchy and think I'm petite or I'm plus size. i totally with you on all those things. I'm petite and I can't do massive, but I can do a little bit of a wide leg. And so we're going to see a little bit of a wide leg. It is universally flattering. If a jean fits you in the hips and bum well, and then is looser in the leg, that is a universally flattering silhouette. Truly, truly, truly works on every woman. And you're going to see it on every size and every age group. And it's just elegant. It's timeless. It's essentially 
like an ele- it can be an elevated jean that almost works like a trouser that almost works like a pant in your wardrobe and um, I just think that wide leg jeans are the way to go in 2024 um, yes we you know we're still doing straight and and mom jeans and those are nice too you know you know like a straight leg jean straight to slightly wider leg jean those are awesome but the wide leg jean absolutely the way to go in 2020 did I say 2022 I might have said 2022. In 2024. Oh my goodness. I can't keep up. Okay. Um, next, cropped jackets. Crop jackets. I'm so excited that crop jackets are back because we've been seeing long and oversized. We're still gonna see, we're still gonna see some long slouchy blazers. But crop jackets are a cheat. They're a great way to create a little waist definition on outfits where you may not have waist definition. If you don't want to belt, tuck, or tie, you don't want to show that I I you know I've had feedback about that on plus size. Um, I believe there's a way to belt, tuck, or tie for most body types unless you really have most of your shape in your tummy. Um, if you do though, if you want to to flatter your waistline without drawing a line around your waist, a crop jacket is the way to do it. It's just magical. It's easy to style. It works really well with dresses as well as pants. I just think they're very, very versatile pieces and we're gonna be seeing a lot of them in 2024. Okay, got the year right that time. Stylish flats, stylish flats, elegant flats, chic flats. And um, what's not comfortable is hobbling around in 2024. So. I love heels, I wear heels a lot, but if you're not a heel person, then a flat, and there are so many chic flats in 2024. Flats, I, and it's so, I, I feel like I say this every year, flats are having a moment this year. Most of us have never let go of flats, but if you have not worn flats for the last few years because you just don't feel like they look stylish, take another look this year because you can have your comfort and your style. I feel like we deserve both. We deserve both. We shouldn't have to choose. And stylish flats are absolutely happening this year. Along those lines, trendy sneakers, cool sneakers. We're seeing the Adidas Sambas. We're seeing the Vejas still. We're seeing Veja. Ve- I'm, I'm going to always do that. Um, we're seeing the New Balance. We're seeing trendy sneakers, not really thick, chunky dad sneakers, but we're seeing trendy sneakers worn with outfits all through 2020. And we're going to see this all through 2024. This trend is not going anywhere. We're seeing it on the streets already. We're seeing it styled in a variety of outfits. And so, you know, the encouragement for you here and the takeaway here for you should be that you can have comfort and style and you can find shoes that support you, that are walkable, that are comfortable but that are also stylish so if you are still resorting to to dated or frumpy comfort shoes i would encourage you to switch to a sneaker instead you're going to get more comfort more support and you're also going to get great style Okay, next, large neutral bags. Now, I I feel very strongly that every woman needs a bag that's close to the color of her hair. A a beautiful long uh, or large neutral tote or bag is absolutely happening. Maybe not as huge as the one shown here, but you want a, a, like a larger bag, a bag that like is, it serves as a beautiful tote. It can work as a shopper. It can work as a handbag. And you want it to be in relatively in scale to your body. I did a whole video on this, so I'll share that. So you want a, a, a bag that's large for you, not that's large for a refrigerator. You want it to be large for you, and you want it to be the right neutral for you. And that's gonna be an investment bag that you can reach for again and again. The simpler the bag is, the more less, the less likely it is to date, and the more you're going to be able to carry it with a variety of outfits and over the years. It's going to become really that investment piece for you. So an oversized bag, whatever oversized means to you with your scale and also your comfort level. You don't want a bag that's so big and so bulky that you're never going to want to carry it. Um, But definitely a trend that's happening this year and a very easy one and also a very practical one. I love it when practicality and trends meet, right? We've got flats, we've got sneakers, we've got large bags, like bring it. Like these are things that we can actually wear. These are wearable trends for 2024. Next, statement coats, statement coats. Let's face it, by the time January rolls around, so many of you are bored of your your warm woolies and you've been wearing um, warm clothes and cozy clothes for months, for months. And I think by the, after Christmas, a lot of people are just like, I'm so over the winter clothes already. Statement coat can just give you the, your wardrobe that little lift and can give everyone around you that little lift. They're fun, they add a little, you, you, can, you can have a statement in terms of color, you can have a statement in terms of pattern. Um, one of the statement coats we're seeing a lot of this year with the whole mob wife aesthetic that's happening is oversized 
uh, faux fur or vintage fur coats. So that's a statement. If you're not a color statement person, maybe you're a shape statement person, or maybe you're a pattern statement person, or maybe it's just the faux fur in a neutral color that's gonna be your statement. Whatever makes a statement for you, having a statement coat gives your, your winter wardrobe an instant lift, and it's definitely a trend for 2024. Next, chunky sweaters chunky sweaters now I, I i know i'm gonna get pushed back on this and i felt this way too when i first saw it i'm like i can't wear a chunky sweater i'm five two and i'm small like it's that's gonna just be baggy saggy sad on me not true actually it really depends on the sweater and it depends on how you style it so i've I've acquired a couple of chunky sweaters that I absolutely love from Lily Silk over the last um, couple of years, and I wear them to death. And so it's really about styling them. Yes, you can try a little tuck, or you can do a sweater that's a little bit slouchy, a little bit chunky over a bottom that's a little bit more tailored. Um, you can add a crop jacket on top to add a little bit of structure and add a little bit of shape to the outfit. There are a lot of different ways to style chunky sweaters. Another way to, to um, style a chunky sweater or to find a chunky sweater that might work for you is to go chunky but shorter so chunky but shorter because it's long and baggy and chunky that's gonna make us look like the sweater that swallowed us up right a sweater that swallowed us up and that's not a look that most of us want so find a way to ch make a chunky sweater work for you either balancing it with more streamlined pieces in the outfit or making it a little bit shorter in length um, there's a chunky sweater out there for everybody and it doesn't need to be a gargantuan but a nice thick substantial knit it's a classic and it's a, it's a very wearable trend for 2024 also, another good way to wear chunky sweaters is with leggings, which are happening again in 2024. So I said wide leg pants, but at the other end of the extreme, leggings are also happening um, at the other extreme. Uh, and they work really, really well with chunky sweaters. We've all, we, we've all been doing that for years, right? Okay, um, Bordeaux, wine, Merlot, oxblood, whatever you want to call this color, it is so chic and so elegant and truly works across a wide variety of colorings. Um, it's just a beautiful, rich shade that has um, it just, it, it's, it's one of the colors in my color palette and I absolutely love it. I'm so excited. It has not been this strong in style since 2017 when Marsala wine was the Pantone color of the year and I stocked up. This year I'm stocking up again, but this is a color that you can inject in small doses, either in a bag or shoes. Um, you can, you know, you can do a scarf, you can do a coat, or you can do full on head to toe Bordeaux. It's such a chic and elegant color, um, works on a variety of ages, um, um, a variety of sizes, of course, it's a color, but like this is a great color if you've got silver hair, it's a great color um, with, with you know, a little bit of, of warmth to it if you've got warmer tones. So, and it works uh, for any neutral woman, like I, I'm just, I'm, I'm obsessed with this color. And I think it, it adds instant elegance and it's a little bit different. So if you're not wearing Bordeaux already, it goes very well with all the neutrals already in your wardrobe. It goes with white and cream and gray and black and camel, just a beautiful, versatile, near neutral color to consider in 2024. Okay, I think I made my case. Animal prints, animal prints, animal prints, yay! I have never stopped wearing animal prints. I will never stop. It is part of my signature style. So I love that I have more permission than ever to wear leopard and cheetah and python and zebra and all the animal prints. We're especially seeing cheetah and leopard. They're calling it cheetah now, it's really leopard. I mean, it's really the same thing. I don't know my animals, but I know that it looks the same. And that's all I care about. So again, small doses, little scarf, a little shoe, a little accessory shoe. I, I, I have said this and I will say it for years. Some things never change. Some things never change. If you think your outfit is cute, add a leopard shoe and your outfit will be cuter. Cute outfit plus leopard shoe equals cuter outfit. 99.9% .9 of the time, I challenge you to find an outfit that could not be improved by a leopard shoe. Now, if you're not a full-on leopard shoe person, maybe you want it, like I said, maybe you want a leopard scarf. Maybe you want, well, I don't know, like a little leopard jacket or something, leopard skirt, leopard dress, whatever. If you if you like animal prints the way that I like animal prints, just go for it. I mean, between the mob wife aesthetic that's happening this year and then just the the, overall trends towards animal prints. There's just a lot to choose from. And again, you're not a leopard person or a cheetah person. Maybe you go for something a little subtler like python. Maybe you go for a little bit more faded leopard. Uh, maybe you skip this entirely, it's up to you, but absolutely one of the wearable trends of 2024. 
comfortable shoes. I talked about this already, but I'm just saying in general, comfortable shoes. Like I'm seeing all sorts of comfortable shoes. So comfortable boots, comfortable loafers. We've already talked about sneakers. We've already talked about flats. Um, kitten heels, kitten heels, kitten heels, kitten heels. I love kitten heels. You want to wear a heel. You don't want it to be too high. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to break your neck or break your ankle or um you know you, you can't handle high heels your feet can't handle them we're all in different places in terms of our comfort level with shoes i love that kitten heels have been a thing kitten heels with slingbacks continue to reign as the pump or dress shoe of 2024 and i'm absolutely here for it they're so comfortable they're so walkable they're so wearable they're easy they're stylish so comfortable shoes whatever form they take definitely happening in 2024. Again, we can combine comfort and style. We deserve it all. And then finally, I'm going to talk about your best neutral. So white and white dresses. White dresses are a major, major trend of 2024. White blouses too, but especially white dresses. So white or off-white, you wanna go for your best neutral in those dresses. Feminine, flowy, pretty, lacy, detailed white dresses or, or ivory dresses or cream dresses are a major thing. Now it's weird to say white dresses are in style because white dresses never go out of style, especially in spring and summer. A white dress is a quintessential, very, very feminine and very very timeless look, but you're going to have so many to choose from this spring and summer, and I'm all here for it. So if white or off-white is in your neutral palette, and one of the lighter neutrals like that should be, then I would embrace the white dress. Now on the dark end of the neutral palette, you know, of the neutral palette, we're seeing a lot of black, but we're also seeing a lot of gray. So you need to find your neutral, right? Black is not for everybody and black's not the best neutral for everybody. So just because there's always a lot of black in style and it's just weird to say white and black are in style when they're always with us, but you're gonna see so much gray this season and gray is a beautiful alternative to black. For those of you who feel, maybe you've got soft, medium, muted coloring, maybe you're a cool, maybe you're a light, and maybe you just feel like black is heavy for you. Maybe you feel like black pulls you down. Maybe you feel like you need to overcompensate a little bit make with makeup when you're wearing black. Instead, consider gray. Um, it's a beautiful, rich, chic, polished, lovely, elegant, timeless neutral that works across a variety of skin tones and coloring and can be a lot easier to wear as we get older than black. So your neutral, the best neutral for you, that's the one that's trending for you in 2024. So I hope that you enjoyed this look at what stylish women over 40, over 60, over 80 are actually going to be reaching for, are actually going to be wearing in 2024. Again, they can tell us about the trends, but what we're actually going to be buying, what we're actually going to be reaching for, and how these trends are going to translate runway to real way, runway to real life, how that actually plays out um, in 2024, that's what we're really interested in, right? Because a few of us are walking on the catwalks. Most of us are just walking on sidewalks, and we want to know what we, we actually should be and could be wearing, what we're going to be seeing in stores, what we're going to be seeing our friends wear, what we're going to be seeing um, around us in pop culture culture in 2024 so that we can look fresh, modern, but also um, flattering and also work for our lives and check all of those boxes. So if that was helpful to you, um, give this video a like. I just love, love, love hanging out with you guys here and I love talking style with you and I love encouraging you to find the pieces that are in stores that are going to work for your life and work for your wardrobe and really serve you. I'm going to be doing um, a closet workshop series. If that's something that's interesting to you, I want you to comment on closet and then when I've got a link for you to sign up for it, I will respond respond with the link in the comments. So it's going to be completely free and it's going to be a way to get some support around your style and really get your wardrobe dialed in um, for 2024. So I love you guys. Don't forget to comment on this video, like it, subscribe, all the things because I want to continue to hang out with you all year long. Love you. I'll see you in the next video.